Daddy's Dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's Dungeon? Daddy's Dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking Dungeon. All of you! Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Are we live, brother? We're live, we're live. Welcome back, everybody. Daddy's Dungeon, episode um, 126. Bitch ass. Bitch ass boy. Bitch ass boy. Before we get into anything today, I just want to show Jose's video, and I want to get his live reaction. I don't care about any stupid fucking football players. Ready? Thoughts? I thought that was a bubbling bowl of roaches. Literally. Okay, but... I know you like your drink spicy. I like my drink spicy. That's the spiciest I've ever seen in my life. Did they add something to it? Extra CO2, that's for sure. That was from McDonald's, I'm assuming? I don't know. I don't know. I went through the Jack and Box drive through today. Okay. The Coke Zero, it wasn't working. What'd you get? I got a high seafood punch. Well, what'd you give to eat? Oh. Hey, high seafood punch is gas, no, okay. I would never get a fucking stupid high seafood punch. You got an icy fruit punch. No. It, there's no shame that shit's gas. I got, um... <laughs> oh, I got a Diet Dr. Pepper. So fucking good. It was so fucking good, just so everyone knows. It was, so, it was explicitly so fucking good. Okay, what else did you get? And then I got a sourdough, sourdough Jack combo. Made that bitch large. Sub for curly fries. Always got a sub for curly fries. Always the curly fries. Always. I love when they put the one regular fry in, though. Yes. Didn't get any. Did not get any. L. But I think it's a, it's a, it's a, how do you say, it's a token of luck whenever you get that super extra accordion fry. Yes. It's a token of luck. And they're always so much better. It's like, it's like when someone tells you, oh, you've got an eyelash. They take it off you, blow it off my finger, make a wish. Have you ever heard that? No. I have no eyelashes. So why the fuck would I hear that? Or it's like no eyebrows, no eyelashes, no hair. Or or it's like uh, a, if a ladybug lands on you. What? It's apparently good luck too. They always piss on me. If a bird shits on you, apparently good luck as well. I've got shit on twice. I've never got shit on by a bird. It's what fucking is embarrassing. What does that got to say about me? Do birds not fucking like me? You've been in like fourteen car accidents. So. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Shit on me, birds. <laughs> shit, on me. Oh, shit on me, daddy. Um, but, but, fucking Odell. <laughs> <laughs> what did I get? Thing. What'd you get? Again, sourdough jack combo, large, mm -hmm. sub for curly fries, always sub for curly fries. Always. And two tacos. Tacos are gas. Tacos are so gas. When was this? On the way home? Yeah, on the way home. I was so hungry. I didn't eat lunch. Oh, oh I, didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't eat lunch and I was falling asleep on the road. Ooh, and, that hit, bro. And I needed the pick-me-up, you know what I'm saying? That hit, ooh. Was the Dr. Pepper spicy, though? That totally hit. It was totally spicy. It was totally spicy. But what do you think about those those, those DJ mix machines? See, I don't fucking trust when it says, oh, you're getting the zero sugar, but it's like, oh, cherry zero sugar? But now they have the calorie count in the top, and it still says zero. But that's on the, on the, on the screen, right? Yeah. So like, is it zero still? Screens can screens can be manipulated. How much are we trusting AI? How much are we trusting technology here? Yeah, AI is really scary. How much are we trusting technology here? A lot. Like we're doing it right now. A lot. We're 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 doing it quite a bit. But <laughs> I think you even brought this up before. Those so those those machines. It's all coming out of one spout. Yeah. Everything's coming out of one spout. It's all contaminated. Yeah. Do you, you don't think it, there's fucking cross-contamination at all with the totally. other sodas? Because every time it starts to drip, 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 and then it, like, merges in. It's like the, the carbonated water with the syrup only. Yeah, yeah. And have you noticed the first little, like, the, 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 the pre-cum bit that comes out? It's, like, white at first, and then yeah. it mixes uh -huh. in with the syrup? Is that what you were just saying? Yes. It's flat. Yes. It's whack. Wait, flat. Like it's there's nothing. There's no flavor. Flat. No, no, no. I'm saying like when you first do, it's like you first put your cup there. You get the first little bit that comes yes, out of it. Yes, I know what you're talking about. It's just pure, pure water. Whatever that is. Carbonated water. That's that pre cum. <laughs> and then you get the good stuff afterwards. Once you keep going. 
You can still get pregnant on pre-cum, so wear condom. You can, you can. Wear condom. Wear a condom, or don't. Just fucking have babies. Fuck are you, it. Are you an advocate for having lots of babies? I'm an advocate for having babies. <laughs> lots of them? I don't know. Depends how much is lots. What's, what's lots of babies? Like for one person? For you. Like for a family. What's lots of babies for you? Lots of babies for me? Yeah. Six. Six babies is a lot. Fuck yeah. Okay. Six okay. kids? That's a fuck done. Personally, I want three more. Three more little ones. Three more little ones. Holy fuck, brother. You're going to be swimming in, uh, swimming in shit. Man, Literally. all the good luck. All the good luck there. <laughs> I, didn't, I never mind changing diapers. Sometimes it was a little much, though. The leakage. Ugh. Add three more to the mix. And, and what's, the, what's the age gapage? Then just bang them out. Bang, 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 one after another. It's not my body, so. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bang one out while one is in there already. <laughs> oh, man. It's like when you... Okay, do you think it's morally wrong to have intercourse while she's pregnant? Do I think it's morally wrong? No, are you kidding me? Well, okay. <laughs> no, not at all. Nine months pregnant, she's like... She's ready to go. I do not know a woman, a woman's... Um, Chemistry. I do not know a woman's body better than a woman would, but I would imagine that they are at their horniest when they're prego. Some, at least. You think so? I would imagine some don't want anything to do with their husbands. I, I've seen that before. Yeah, like, oh my god. It's like, oh my god, he's breathing wrong. He's breathing, get the fuck out of here. But that's specifically when, when she's pregnant? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine that some... Some some women when they're pregnant get repulsed by their husband. Yeah, like I've seen it on TikTok where she'll be like, and it's just that pregnancy chemistry. Yes. She'll be like in the bathroom. She's like, I've never done this before, but like, I'm mad that he's breathing too loud right now. Like, I just like, I want to scream at him. And it's like, and the other day he grabbed something wrong, and I I was just so upset. And I think it's because they're pregnant. They're pregnancy hormones. Why do you think I have dimples? It's gen. Do you don't have fucking dimples? Is that a dimple? That is, yeah. Yeah, my dad's cock poked me. It's more prominent on the other side. On so the right my, side. My brother would always tell me that um, my parents had intercourse when my mom was pregnant. My dad's wiener poked me on each side of my cheeks. <laughs> and that's what caused the dimples. <laughs> you were fucking at a young age, huh? And then the, uh, and then I had freckles when I was younger. So so once I once once I came out, mom shit in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Permanent, permanently okay, so scarred. What did you, you tell your brother he had? Oh, they just, he just covered in shit completely. <laughs> <laughs> as dark as he is. That's what you told him? <laughs> Probably. I haven't seen him in a minute. <laughs> did he just get his witness teeth taken out? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for him, dude. You know what? That's crazy, dude. <laughs> He's older. Okay, hold on. Listen to this. Listen to this. That's okay. crazy. He just sent me that text. <laughs> he just sent me that text with the picture of his teeth earlier today right my molars were hurting last night bro oh bro. god like bad uh they were bothering me they were bothering me to the point where i was like ah I, like i was constantly moving my jaw I'm like See, now i'm getting a phantom pain no dude i'm serious i I'm, have you got I, them taken out no i haven't gotten them taken out but i i, I kid you not on my fucking cock and balls my my molars were giving me pains yesterday. It's time to get those bad boys out. No, I'm not saying that my. No, I know. You're, you're, I'm saying that there's a. In. There's a link. Tele telepathic link to you and your brother. There's a link. So do you think like if he gets his asshole fingered, you're gonna feel it one day? There's, I hope so. Because <laughs> <laughs> fuck. fuck. Uh, uh, uh. There's a link there somehow. Yeah. And he didn't tell you. No, I swear, dude. He did not tell me. He just, let's see. He sent you me. You swear on your foreskin. On my cock and balls. He sent me this picture at 6.59 a.m. Uh-huh. I was feeling pains last night before bed. Wow. And granted, these aren't the most prominent pains where I'm like, oh, my God. I need, it's just, I it's need to get this checked out. It was, it was prominent enough to where I was kept awake for a little bit longer than I typically am. And when's that? I was up to like 11, 11.30ish. Me too. You know? I couldn't sleep last night. Neither could I. It was the fucking teeth. I'm telling <laughs> you, man. It's so Very odd, right? Very, very odd. Very odd. 
No, it's very cool though. It's like but it's like if you guys were twins. You know? But weird. maybe it's a sibling connection. It's weird. Mm. You guys are very close, you know, touching tips and stuff like that. Getting stuck in the laundry and all that stuff. How do you feel about um what do they call that? When they when they snip your when you get snipped? Like what do you call that? Vasectomy? Yeah, how do you feel about that? What about it? How do you feel about it? It's I mean if, if you don't want no more kids then do it. How do you feel about it? Would I ever do it? Yeah. Sure. You would? Yeah. Okay. If I don't want no more kids, but I just just end it. Oh, you're just dumping loads everywhere, yeah. huh? Because it still works. Wouldn't that be kind of nice, though? Just fucking carefree dumping loads? Yes. <laughs> right? Yeah, I, I would say so. I mean, I wouldn't want to get it, but I would say so. Really? Yeah, yeah. Personally, I wouldn't Why? want to. I you just... know they keep you awake. Oh, yes, I've heard. And you could smell it. Smell the cum? Yeah, they no, they well, maybe it is burning cum. I don't know. They they snip it and then they solder it. Oh, gotcha. Because they used to just snip it, and there was cases where it reconnected. Ah, oh. we're back. Play the lottery, dude. He does all the time. No luck, huh? He wins a lot. Does do birds ever shit on him? I wonder. Maybe the ladies do. <laughs> <laughs> shit on his chest. Oh man, but yeah, yesterday. I was editing, I was fucking going ham, I was going ham, and then my girl's like, oh, we got a movie at 7.30, and I was like, what the fuck? Movie, movie, what yeah. movie? Coraline? No. I'm scared of that fucking movie, by the way. It's a great movie, great movie. So, I told myself, I was like, you know what, I don't even want to know what we're watching. I want to go in there fully surprised. Okay. And that's what I did. Okay, how far did you take this, though? What do you mean? The surprise. Until we got into the theater, when the fucking screen finally said the name of the movie. Really? Yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah. That that must have been cool, huh? It was so cool. Okay, okay, okay. So let me guess. Let me let me try and guess the movie. So before this, what kind of previews were playing? Uh, this is a thriller slash scaryish. Thriller. It's mostly filler slash thriller, scaryish. Thriller. Uh-huh. Alien. No, no, no. That movie was ass, brother. You watched it? I haven't watched it, but it has, has terrible reviews. Don't knock it till you try it then. Very true. The Crow, 3% Rotten Tomatoes. Three. That's okay. criminal. Okay. This movie has 96% Rotten Tomatoes. Pretty popular? I don't think so. That theater was empty as hell. Mm. I don't know how new. I've never even seen trailers of this movie. That Cuckoo movie. With, no. Oh, no. That's too scary for you. I, I still watch it, though. Bitch. <laughs> give, me, give me options here. This is kind of hard for me. Multiple choice question. Uh, male and female. Male and female what? Main characters. Male and female main characters? Fuck, that's not multiple choice. That's fill in the blank, bitch. I wasn't the best at that. Like, I'm just going to tell you, okay? Okay, okay, okay. It was called Strange Darling. Oh, I would have never guessed that. Strange Darling. Have you seen it? The no. trailer? So, we're watching this movie. 93%. 96. 96. This movie, and it wasn't, it didn't keep me up because it was scary. It kept me up because it kept me guessing. Okay, okay. This movie was so good. It was so well written that I couldn't even guess what was happening. That's how good it was. That's right, I could guess. That's right, I could guess. I'd love to spoil it for you. No, 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 no. You need to watch it. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to. You need to fucking watch it. But this, ah, oh, damn it, I was going to talk about it. Okay, whatever. Anyways. It kept me guessing the whole movie and all the way until the end. And I was like, wow, this was fucking really good. This was really fucking good. Strange Darling. Yeah, and I guess it's based off a true story. That's what it says in the beginning. Uh Uh-huh. Well, it says this is a dramatic... Dramatization. Yes. Of real events. So in some sense, it's real. Some sense. Yeah. What was the premise of this movie? Serial killer. But I, I remember a, a, a thing came to my head. It said, this is from a serial, from a string of killings. And later you find out it's a serial killer from 2018 to 2020. And we were talking about it in the past on the pod like two years ago that there's no more serial killers anymore. It's too hard. 
But this person did it. 2018 to 2020. And, I, and we never heard about it. Yeah, we never heard about it. Nothing. What the fuck? From Colorado to Oregon. Oh, man. No, but we you would hear, oh, bro, a serial killer in these days. Everyone's hearing about it. Come on, bro. That shit wasn't on TikTok. It wasn't real. <laughs> <laughs> so, the movie kept me guessing. And I just kept thinking about it. This movie's fucking really good. You gotta watch it. You should go now. Just leave the pod. Just let end it early. Ten minute pod. We're chilling. Let's do it. We'll keep the people guessing. They wouldn't yeah. even know what's coming. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was a really fucking good movie. Ninety six, and uh, yeah, that's all I got for you. Was that the best movie you've seen <laughs> thus far? In a while. In a while. Deadpool. What? Deadpool's good. Was it better than Deadpool? I don't think so. Two completely different movies. Yeah, I don't think you can compare them because they were both pretty good. You can't compare them. Why not? Why can't you compare them? Because Deadpool was like. I had a smile on my face the whole time. This one, I didn't even fall asleep. Not even a, not even a, one of those just locked in the whole movie at 8 o'clock at night in the movie theater. Okay, also, you have to take in consideration your day prior to that. How was your day prior to that? Busy as fuck. Got home at 2.30. Didn't stop editing until 6.50. Okay. So. Like, legit, I sat at the computer, left my phone over there. Didn't go on anything. Just locked in. Wow, so that that that's an that's reason enough. That's a tiring ass dude. The to give editing you, to give you the quick you guys, editing, it takes it out of you for real. It does. It's very repetitive and you actually have to like stay locked in. It's 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 hard. Because sometimes I'll zone out and it'll just play for like twenty seconds, I'm like, oh shit, fuck, <laughs> I gotta go back. You know? Sometimes I'll zone out and then I'll just Yeah. Fall asleep. I, I fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep, I had my head down. My sister's like, You were right? But I didn't know she said that. I just started snoring, and she woke my ass up. Well, I mean, yeah, I've, I've tried to wake you up before. Sometimes you just can't. Sometimes you just can't do it. Speaking about that shit, brother, I gotta go in at three tomorrow. Oh, bro. That's gonna be nice. No. Yeah, cause you get off early. It's gonna be nice. That's the only good thing about it. That was always the best. I remember going in at four a.m. Oh, dude, I remember this one specific time when I used to work at the warehouse, right? Mm. We would go in at 4 a.m. typically. Go in at 4, get off at 12. So this one time, what we did, we'd go in at 12, midnight, and leave at 12. We did 12s, uh, and it was beautiful. So you did four 12s? Uh, no, we don't, that was, um, I believe that was just Saturday and Sunday. Uh. We did that Saturday and Sunday. And man, was it fucking brutal. But it was fun. Why was it fun? It, it, you're huffing the glue and shit? It was fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're in the back fucking huffing the glue and shit. You know? <laughs> no, not really. But um, one, because I worked with my brother there. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was great. Uh-huh. The people there were great as well. And um, someone brought in coffee. Those big old Starbucks cardboard boxes, like the fucking... Oh, yeah. You know, like those the wine bags. Ones, yeah. Like those wine bags. Yeah, I felt like a bougie-ass bitch. You drank the fuck out of it? I drank the fuck out of it. Black? No, it was really good. <laughs> oh, it was already pre-mixed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was good. like a pre-made coffee. You know, it was like a giant K-cup. I went, I went to Starbucks recently. They had like... Uh, this is... I always get a notification on the app. I know you're not a Starbucks guy anymore. But it's like... From this time to this time, half off drinks. Really? I was, like, I was like, you know what? I've had six dollars in my account. You can't get nothing for six dollars anymore. Might so, as well. So I'm like, <laughs> might as well fucking spend it. So I order a drink. You can get a Rhino Six Nine pill for six dollars. Really? We'll get back to that. <laughs> Someone's car broke down in the line. I didn't know, so I'm sitting there like, dude, what the fuck's taking so long? What the fuck's taking so long? So I just park and walk in. There was drinks. Like, you know, they usually have a counter and they put the drinks like, oh, yeah, this yeah, person, yeah. fool. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like. Because oh, everybody was going in for half yeah. off. Ordering online. Oh, fuck. And I was like, drink for Dell. And she's like, yeah, it's going to be about 20 minutes. And I was like, fuck, man. So I just sat down, just waited way longer than 20 minutes. What a waste of my time. What a waste of your fucking time. What a waste. There go your $6. It was a good drink, though. Worth it? Yeah, it was like uh It was like uh I know you're not a matcha guy either, but it was a matcha, ice matcha latte. But they put like caramel crunch on top. I am not a matcha guy. Why not? It tastes too... 
grainy. It tastes too earthy. Yeah. I don't like it. But I like it. But sometimes it gets stuck on my throat and I'm like, ugh, and it will never go away. Does it ever itch? Sometimes. Maybe I'm allergic. And you know what? So, um, I don't know what matcha is, but that reminds me of um, my mushroom tripping days. Okay. So, with mushrooms, one thing that you got to be aware of, if you're eating them raw like that, Mm -hmm. those mushrooms have spores on them. And if you eat them, they will get stuck on uh, in in your esophagus so right? what do you do to combat that well for me at least what would uh what you could do to to get around that you could fucking gee, put them in a food processor dump that little bitch in a in a in some tea Toast. in some tea or something get some real hot tea and then you could drink it like that but what i what what would happen to me was when i would eat them raw like mid trip i would be um find myself breathing real heavy uh-huh. because those spores would make my esophagus swell a little bit oh. and I was kind of wheezing you know did it did that scare you uh, it would scare me at times but I just thought like oh it's probably fucking probably like an asthma relapse from back in the days you know see like I would never I would never do shrooms I don't think I'm too scared to try them mm-hmm. I feel like I'd be a great sitter though I'd be a great sitter a trip sitter what do you think um i'd get you all the snackies you want what do you want to do you want to watch TV? personally i would say i feel like i'd be a great sitter you want to go to war with somebody that's been there before you think so i would think so at least you know so i'm not saying that it's always going to be like a war zone back to the fishing line brother if that's the case you're connected to the first motherfucker that did mushrooms Way down the line. What are you talking about? Someone had to try it first. Oh yeah, someone had to try it and first. And someone's like, "Bro, you, can you can you sit with me? Because I'm a little fucked up." And then I, and then I'll watch you. And then it just like. It's so a technically, tri- somehow you're. The trickle down effect. Literally the the fishing line. You're connected to someone at the very beginning of time who did mushrooms. If that's the case. That's pretty badass. What do you mean if that's the case? I don't know. I'm not understanding you. Well, if you wanted somebody with experience. I'm just saying. That's been to the war room. Prefer, preferred. Yeah, but I'm saying if that's the case. If that was like the case, like the general rule of thumb. That'd be pretty badass. If you really think about it. And then you start tripping about that. That'd be even more crazy. And then you go like Avatar. Oh, that, that's like an Avatar moment. Avatar Aang. The Last Airbender? Never watched it. Never watched it. But that's kind of... What the fuck? That kind of ties into the people trying food for the first time. You know what I mean? What do you mean? It's like, hey man, I'll watch you try this fucking weird plant. See if it's edible or not. And if it affects you negatively, I won't try it. And the next thing you know, this motherfucker... He's dead. He eats like those, those, little, those little berries they ate in the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> right? And fucking, he's done. There was a movie, I don't remember what it was called, but I remember watching it when I was younger, and that movie really made me sad. It was like this guy, his parents hated him, he was like a hippie, vegetarian, and they kicked him out, he's like, I'm going to fucking Alaska. And he finally gets up to Alaska, and he has this book that he's been studying so he can live up there. Do you know what I'm talking about? He lives in a bus? Yes, yes, yes. What's it called? I forget what that's called. But it turns out... The word was crossed out. It was like berries to not eat, but it was. But he thought it was berries to eat. So he was literally, he literally fucking ate all the berries <laughs> I was supposed to eat, and it made me so sad. I was like 10, 11 years old. I was so fucking sad. I was like, dude, what the fuck? He was finally happy. He was living. He was kind of struggling, and then, <gasps> dead. I was like, fuck, man. And then the people that adopted him were so sad. It was just, oh man, a sad movie. He was like a trust fund kid, wasn't he? He was like a. He was like a. He came from what? I don't family. remember. If I remember correctly, I, I know exactly the movie you're talking about, though. But is there a movie? I just thought of it when you said ten or eleven. <laughs> is there a movie that <laughs> that would get you going when you were a kid? Crying? No, 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 crying. It'll get you horny? Proned up and boned up, baby. Yes, sir. Uh, I have mine in mind. Is it the House of Blues, that football one? Huh? Fuck. What's what football? football one? There's like a football movie, like in Texas country. And their teachers are Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues. No, no, no. It wasn't that one for me. Uh, Girl Next Door. No, it wasn't that one for me. 
I bet you you will never guess it. The thing is, I never really watched any movies for kids. I can give you the actor in, act, okay, okay. Act, actress okay. in it, Natalie Portman. So which movie, Natalie Portman? No guesses. It wasn't at that Star time, Wars, I'll tell you that. At that time, dude, I don't fucking know what movie she was in at that time. When I was ten or eleven. I don't know. Okay. I don't know specifically which year it came out. It, I would say. I'm going to go off a whim here and say 2014. Okay. No, I got nothing. Nothing. This brain has got zero right now. Black Swan. Oh, that's a scary movie, huh? Not really. Thriller? Man, fuck, did that movie really do it for me. What? I, huh? Okay, I've never seen it, so just give me lay it all out on me. Pretty Spoiler much. Spoiler alert, everyone. Hurry, Mila Kunis. There was this one specific oh specific my God. scene. Oh man, they were going to Pound Town, baby. He's breaking up right now. They they were they were doing the damn thing. And as a kid, I remember I had my fucking my laptop with my with my torrents on it. I had downloaded that movie onto my computer and brought oh, and brought all the viral infections onto my computer uh-huh. with it. Uh-huh. I'd wake up early as fuck on a weekend, go downstairs, sit on the lazy boy, and beat the fuck out your dick. Bust out my computer with the with the combined warmth of my computer battery <laughs> and my hand. Holy fuck! Did I bust the fattest nut as a ten year old? <laughs> oh my god! I was busting ropes, <laughs> motherfucker. Ropes. I need to see this scene. Oh, I thought you were mad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Great oh. scene. Actually, let me find out when this movie came out. It's a great movie as well. So it's not scary? No. It's, I, I wouldn't. No, it's not scary at all. 2010. Okay. It looks fucking 2010. Terrifying. Natalie Portman, man. Mila Kunis, Natalie Portman. No, it's not scary at all. It's a good movie. I would highly suggest it. Natalie and you saw, them, you saw them in the nude? Not in the nude. They were making out. They were making out. It, but that did it for you. Girls kissing. Yeah. YouTube girls kissing. <laughs> you know, that did it for a 10-year-old. Oh, fuck yeah. And then after that, I'd, bu- I'd bust out Brokeback Mountain. I'd put that John on. <laughs> and, I'd, and I'd do the same thing all over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I, um, diverse. Yeah, diverse. <laughs> Diversitize. Hey, that's good, though. At a young age? Open like that? It's really good. That's that versatility. <laughs> I was playing every position of the game. Oh, were you Catholic by chance growing up? No. <laughs> Hell no. Not the, not the, not the Pope. The only thing I got fucked by was the government, baby. That's it. At that age, at least. Brother, I've also been thinking about something. You told me the other day, you're like, well, why do you like it? Why do you like this song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I was like, I, I don't know, I just fucking like it. And you're like, no, nah, but like, why? And then you're playing Bad Beat. <laughs> this came in my head today. Because I was like, I was like, oh, Bad Beat's pretty good. It's not my favorite. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Stop it's, talking it's your favorite album of the year. It's pretty good. Okay. Different, different levels here. Contention, you know what I'm saying? Missing Links, 10 out of 10. Okay. And then, uh, um,. I was like, so why do why do you like fucking bad beat? You're like, it just gets the job done. That's all you fucking. It just gets the job done. That's what you said. I did that not was, just say that. It's it's 13 minutes long. It just gets to the straight to the point. Gets the job done. Uh, if you remember correctly, I said a couple other things as well. A couple other nothings. Okay, so let me <laughs> let me refresh your fucking okay. memory real quick on what I said. So. I may have my numbers jumbled, but it's 16 songs, 14 minutes long. Uh-huh. Okay? One, for me, musical boner. I love it. Love the efficiency. Love the quickness. Right? Two, it is extremely fun and also very aggressive at the same time. Uh, I don't remember you saying that. I absolutely did say that. And... I don't think I had a three. And it gets the job done. But I will say three, it's the, even the lyrics are extremely relatable as well. That's very true. You know? But I didn't know that I could use that. What do you mean? Why not? I don't know. It just didn't seem right. That could fucking, you, you, you could like, 
That, that's a reason for you to like a song, isn't it? Totally. But I thought you meant like musically. Come the on, sound. brother. I'm not a professional. You know, you know well, what that's I that's what I thought at the time, dude. No, no. That's what I thought at the time. But yes, I, I do remember saying that to you, that, it, that it's, it's very fun, but aggressive at the same time. Because of because of uh, the 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 pitch that the voice is being delivered at, it seems like very upbeat and happy. Uh huh. But it's not. But the words that are being spoken in that high pitch are very like "fuck you," yeah, you know, and angry. Uh huh. So I love it. It's uh, fourteen minutes, brother. Sixteen songs. Do you think like they could just perform that whole thing? Yeah, 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 one hundred percent. Just 100%. Boom, go. But they got more shit. It's all the same stuff. All their more shit is was, the same. was put on there. Oh, yeah? All their older stuff? Oh, uh, okay. I haven't checked them out more than that album. I mean, they, they, Not got, yet. they got a couple songs here and there, but for the most part, stuff that they had on like a demo or a little EP or whatever, all made it on the LP. Just a refined version of it. I don't know if you saw. But after the E-Town show, there were some people saying that IE's dead again. No, I didn't see that. Where where'd you see that? I just saw it on Instagram with some stories. Uh-huh. I don't remember who. Okay. But it was like, oh, no one was up there for Desmadre and like barely any people for E-Town Concrete and shit like that. What are your okay. thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts on that are... They weren't there. You weren't there. Okay. But also, I would say that... Um, I was disappointed a little bit. Not going to lie. I was too. I was a little disappointed. Hold My Own is a band that I hold very near and dear to my fucking heart. He holds it to his own. I love them. He literally holds it to his own. Straight from Chicago. And um, I was very disappointed in the turnout that the IEHC gave to such a good fucking band. I, I want to preface this with the crowd was... Very, very different than what I'm used to at the Haven. Why is that? I, because I even told you I was like, dude, there's like no one I recognize here. Very, very little people. Uh -huh. There was like the group that we were talking to, and that's basically all I recognized. Didn't recognize anybody. It's like no one, no one showed out. But I don't think it's dead. I just think it was that show. Yeah, I don't think it's dead either, because I, I was watching it from the back, even further than you, for the Desmadre set. That set popped off. Yeah, there was a lot of people. I don't know what people are talking about. That set popped off. Question, that little person. I couldn't tell if it was a kid or a little person that was older that looks like a kid. Personally, don't know, don't care. I'm glad they made it to the show. <laughs> Dude, right in the fucking face. Hey, they stayed to the end. They did. They stayed to the end. Hmm. That's all I got to say about that. Mm-hmm. No, but I don't think the scene is dead. I think it's a combination. It's a combination of um, the bands being out of state, right? And these bands not being the most prominent bands from out of state. Right? I, honestly, I wish Bayway had a bigger pop-off. I, I wish as well. And Hold My Own as well. And Hold My Own as well, yes. That was sick, by the way. Yeah, the, the whole show was great, you know? It was great, but I think, in my opinion... E Town, Bay Weight, and Hold My Own. No, they no. all needed more. Well, that's what the, the stories were saying. You know? I would agree with that, but that doesn't mean that it's dead. Because you and I are. are we're keeping it alive, baby. Are, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're proof because we see it on, on a regular basis uh -huh. that it's more. Definitely not dead. You know what I mean? And younger people are coming in too. Yeah, all the time. And there's even people that are coming from two, three hours away just to watch a show here. You know what I mean? Shout out Kill Floor. For real. Fucking shout out. Dick. I don't know who I was going to shout out. Shout out. Ernesto. Shout out. Hey, he comes from the... Shout out if you're driving a long way just to come to the IE. Why do you say it like that? What do you mean? Well, we don't got shit out here? No, we got shit out Were here. Were you fucking dogging us like that? I ain't dogging nobody, baby. But <laughs> what I'm saying is... What city do you know has a fucking two-story fucking go-kart track? Huh? We don't even have it yet. It's there. We don't even have it it's yet. It's almost yet. 
Almost, yeah, yeah. It's gonna right, be so right. fucking sick, dude. It is gonna be sick. It's gonna be so fucking sick. It's gonna be so sick. It's gonna be expensive. I'm excited. Probably. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> no, but honestly, the mix with the crowd, because I usually like standing closer to the front and on the edge of the pit. But, dude, after getting hit in the head three times in like five minutes, I just said, fuck that. I'm not doing this shit. They gotta do something about the floor, man. Jeez. Yeah, dude. Why is the floor Fix get, it already. Why is it getting more and more slippery every every show? Maybe the the cover of it is finally peeled away. You know, like we, we need that 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 sticky that sticky floor. That sticky icky. You know what I'm saying? Somebody need to bust some fat nuts on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> and I will volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know. I feel like because like this floor me and my brother installed this shit. This whole floor in the whole house. It's not that fucking hard. I was like seven. A seven-year-old Dylan can do it. I think that anyone I, can do I it. I think it's because that floor is polished and clean too often. I know, but then you gotta also think about for how fucking long this floorboard's been loose. Yeah, it's not the floorboard I'm worried about. You know what I'm saying? It's the slippery. I know. It's the slippage. The slippage is what really scares me. Who's the manager there? I don't fucking know. Don't know. Don't care. Don't care. I'm just glad they keep letting shows go on there. It doesn't get too. It doesn't get too bad there, huh? No, 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 no. I, it's I, a great dude. I love the parking lot so close. After an after a night there, I don't need to go through three shirts. One shirt does the job. Really? Yeah. Maybe two if I'm going, if I'm doing a little more. But for the most part, one does the job. And I appreciate that, you know? When your fucking venue doesn't have air conditioning, or doesn't or have the proper airflow to fucking cool down... Hoser. Me. <laughs> I don't appreciate that. I will keep going, but I don't appreciate it. <laughs> it's fucking torture. We should, uh, we should start bringing the fan so we go back to the car and you just cool off real quick. That won't we? do it, brother. It will not do it. It's like I'm having fucking hot flashes in these moments. Maybe we need to chill the fuck out sometimes. What's the hottest venue you've ever been to? Hottest venue, I, personally, that I've ever been to? Um, I haven't been to many, but I'd say probably Gilmore M- Music Store. Oh, fuck. I, d- I wasn't even thinking of that place. I totally forgot. Yeah. That place is a war. Gilmore Music Store. That's what I would say. The thing is, he doesn't want the door open, you know? It makes sense, though. It makes sense, but they ain't got no fucking AC in there? Come on, what about the what about the music shopping people? Huh? They don't appreciate fucking air conditioned is, is that Is the music store open during the day? Yeah, I would assume so, or else they're not getting any fucking business. Like, I wonder what it looks like inside, like, when it's, like, open for business. Yelp that shit. That's a great fucking idea. <laughs> Brother, speaking of Yelp, so today... Uh, all week at work, there's always, like, taco stands and shit like that. We're driving by in the morning or whatever. And um, I've been on my prep shit, so I haven't eaten nothing, but we always see it. And it's like, dude, this, this guy keeps getting a line every fucking day. It's a newer guy. And it's tempting, huh? It is. And then uh, we drove by it today. And we're like, dude, we should, we should probably try it. We'll, we'll try it next week or something. Me and, me and homie Daniel said that. And then we get out of the car. And then uh, the driver goes. There's a dr- there's a truck driver there, and I was gonna unload him. He was like, he's like, hey, there's a really fucking good burrito right there. Like if you make a right right here at that light, he's right there. He's like, you can't miss it. He's like, it's five dollars. It's amazing. And I was like, really? And he was like, yeah, I think he's from Mexicali or like TJ, because he's uh-huh. like, that's how they sell the street food out there. How he's selling it out of ice chest and shit. And he's like, I've, when I, he's like, when I go to Mexico, that's how they sell it. He's like, I think he's from one of those. And he's like, it's really fucking good. Or maybe just ice chests are a good way to keep things cool. I don't, I don't know. But I'm going to try it tomorrow. Breakfast burrito. Five bucks, huh? Five bucks. Fire. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a review. I'm excited. Now, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Right now, right off the bat, if it has beans in it, don't want it. Really? Just per- eggs. Personally, beans do does not belong on a breakfast burrito. Have I don't think I've had a breakfast burrito with beans in it. I've had multiple. You're totally like it's always like 
potato, eggs, and some type of meat. Potato, eggs, some and type meat. of meat. And that's it. And, okay. So, okay. I would say salsa, which is like a, a, a pico type. Mm. You know? Because farmer boys, they got it like that. Their burrito is fucking fire. The fucking hog heaven Hog one? heaven. I love that shit. I haven't had that shit in forever. That's good. So they, they have their salsa, which is just like pico, pico right? But, um, yeah, not beans. Don't put fucking beans in your breakfast burrito because I don't fucking want it. What if it's just beans and eggs? Don't want it. I've had that. Beans and eggs burrito? Yeah. Don't want it, personally. That's just me. Very little. It's like, it's like that big. A little yeah. roll up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had it before, right? Like, that was a quick little thing moms would make every once in a while. But, no, it's just it doesn't go. Do you like huevos con salchicha? Oh, absolutely. That's one of my favorites. That's that's amazing, too. But I wouldn't want that in a burrito. No, no, no. I just want some crispy fucking bacon. I think bacon is the go-to, not sausage. I You'll never see me order a sausage breakfast burrito. It's always bacon. Why not have bacon, ham, and sausage? All three. Hog heaven. We really fucked these pigs up, huh? That's what it is. We do really fuck these pigs up. Speaking of pigs... Football's back, baby. I draft this Saturday, brother. Are you excited? I'm fucking ecstatic. Pick number three? Are you kidding me? That's pretty good. Randomized? Live for them so they could see it that I didn't cheat? I said at 3.32. You're not a cheating man. At You're not a fucking cheating I'll man. I never fucking cheat. You understand? You're not a fucking cheating man like I, some other people. A bunch of motherfuckers out here for real. Bitch ass motherfuckers bitch out here motherfuckers. for real. At 3.32, I said I'm going to... Hit randomized three times, and that's that's it. Screen recorded, 3.32 is the time. Random, random, random. That was it. Ended it. Pick number three, baby. Is there money on the line? No. Just for fun. This is just this is just bragging rights. And that's more than enough for me to get me going. Okay, okay, okay. And I did it differently this year. I was like, eh, 12 teams is... You, you have to know how to draft on a 12 team. You know? And I said, fuck that. Let's make it eight-man league. Every team is going to be absolutely stacked up the ass. Hell yeah. So everyone's going to have fucking hundreds of points. I love it. And I change the scoring around. It's going to be like an all-star game. Yeah. Every team. It's going to be awesome. And, you know, there's some people that know a lot about football, and there's people that know, like, nothing about football, and that's what's exciting. The randomness. Anyone can win. Yeah. It's up for grabs. It's just, it's just bragging rights. What pissed me off, though, was... The guy who talked the most shit to me last year in a league that we paid for, he got picked too. He got it again this year, motherfucker. And I know he's going to take the player I want. You paid for that league? It, did we? No. At least I did it. Huh. Anyways, he talked the most shit to me. Bobby Bang on 7, whatever the fuck his name was. Bitch ass Bobby. Yeah, bitch ass Bobby. He fucking took CMC. He's going to take his ass again. I don't know who's on top. Man, fuck, fuck, fuck football for real. I'm more interested in the WNBA. Why? Their ass. You need to get into football. I don't understand what this shit's about. Nah, honestly, sports. Whack. What the fuck you're not gonna get into football for? I don't I don't I don't have an interest in sports anymore. What's the Jalen Waddle jersey doing right now? Collecting dust? Oh no, it's still great. Same with the Giants jersey, still great. I honestly I forgot about that. that jersey's fire. I need to get it. I need the the Waddle one. I need to get that uh, altered. It's a big jersey. Hey, that Buster jersey is fire. You gotta you gotta rock that thing. You gotta take that boy out. You gotta take that bad boy out sometime. Do you gotta take that bad boy out? You know what? This is what's pissing me off. There was this Shohei Hotani bobblehead yesterday. Have you seen that this? golden one? Is it golden? I don't or like know. Silver? Something something. It good. looked like a metal one, right? Line. A mile long line to get it. Mile long at the Dodge Stadium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess the resale price. $5,000. It's $2,300. I wasn't close. Well, there a lot of them were going for certain prices, but the median price is twenty three hundred. That's what that's what the reports were saying. That's insane. Yeah. For a stupid bobblehead. A stupid fucking bobblehead. Look how many you have here. No, and I and I and I, I told myself. I said, "Well, I have a Shohei Otani MVP edition. They ain't got that shit. How much is this?" I looked, forty dollars. <laughs> I was like, "Motherfucker, forty dollars MVP? 
You think it'd be worth more? God. Hey, I went to that game too, didn't I? Yeah. Where did mine go? I don't know. You probably have it at your house or something. And you have your Zegris one too. It's probably at your house. What was that? Was that just an earthquake? No, this fucking uh, it got stuck on the wire. It fucking and scared me. Vibrating. <laughs> See, look. See? Fucking scared me. Jeez. <laughs> you know that, that? Okay, so you remember that last recent pretty pretty big earthquake we had? Yeah. Apparently, apparently it was pretty big. Uh-huh. Everybody was talking about it. I didn't feel shit. I didn't feel shit. I didn't either. feel shit. Nothing. I was up on the job site. You would you would think you up forty five floors you would feel it. But yeah, no. How many floors you got left, brother? I don't know, man. This fucking thing seems never fucking ending. Oh my god! Oh my god! It's draining. We're on we're on level forty eight now. Well, how many floors are there supposed to be? I think fifty three. Fuck. Five weeks? I think. I think fifty three. Don't quote me on that. So what happens when this is all said and done? Okay, but I think it's fifty three plus one. Plus whatever. Um, plus whatever mechanical floors that they're gonna have, if any. It's so 53, I believe, for the rooms. Holy fuck. And then above that might be some, like, mechanical shit. Oh, you know? Fuck. That's whack. But once it's all said and done, um, well, I'm going to be homeless. Not actually, but it's like, then that's when, that's when the easy work comes in. It's like fucking dicking around all day, thumbing my ass, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Until what? Um, no, not really, but it's just kind of easy work. Just setting grills, like making, doing little final finishing uh, touches, okay. you know? Do you um, have to wait until it's fully inspected? Depends on what it is, really. Uh uh-huh. You know? Um, but we'll probably be doing that until we get our next, like, job next smaller job to get us get the ball rolling up until a big job that I I just heard about today actually care to talk about it or no um, I mean I don't know many, much details about it but I hear it's a three year job oh nice it's a three year job it's a big job I think 11,000 man hours is it a skyscraper a dome no 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 it's a convention center oh fuck that's gonna be big as hell it's gonna be big as hell and this shit has some big ass fucking duct. Cause I remember last time I went to Ontario Convention Center. So every place that I go into now, obviously you've seen it before, I look up, mm-hmm. right? And the last time I went to Ontario Convention Center, holy fucking shit balls. I look up, Jesus fucking Christ. You fit like two of me in there. This shit is huge. You know? And that's when it gets fun. That's scary? That, that's that fun yeah, yeah, kinda. That's that fun stuff, though. You, you know? have to get, like, a crane and get it in, or do you guys just get, like, double scissor lift? No, you just get <clears throat> fucking double scissor lift up. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. You just get it, one of those big old scissor lifts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it's fun. It can get it, it can get real fun. Real sketchy sometimes. Do you guys ever race a scissor lift? Race a scissor <laughs> lift? Off the clock. Off the clock. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any scissor lifts right now. Uh, you don't need them. <clears throat> we don't need them. Oh, my God. I'm dying. No, they'd be nice, though. Mm-hmm. Fuck, scissor lifts are always nice. My back's been killing me with this fat-ass fucking knot I have. Brother, you need to go get a massage. Brother, you need to get a massage, baby. I know, dude. I need to get fucking my back shit on. Um, I need to get my back came on something. Fuck. <laughs> a lot of cum talk. Fuck, goddamn. Jeez. Come for me, daddy. I know. You're, I need. I need to help you or something. I need. A, I need a, You need a release. I need some pizza. I want some pizza, dude. You ready to go? I'm ready pizza's to go. has been on my mind I'm ready all to go. day, all day today. Let's go. I want your fucking fat, sexy pepperoni nips. Hey, honestly, dude, we can still catch the show and get pizza at the show. No, fuck that. I'm enjoying my Thursday in the Inland Empire. <laughs> It's not dead, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Big Ass Truck. Shout out Big Ass Truck. Shout out Big Ass Truck, for real, for real. By the way, that pizza spot tried to follow me. What are you doing? Hey, cool. Fuck you. They're just gonna... They want me to follow them, and then they're gonna unfollow my bitch yeah, ass. Yeah, then they're gonna unfollow you. They're gonna unfollow you. You guys think I'm fucking stupid? Yeah, we know that fucking trick. Huh? Can't trick a trickster, all right? <laughs> 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 but yeah I, I'm ready dude I'm, yeah, It's hot as fuck in here My feet are sweating I can feel them sweating 
You wanna feel them? You know, I know. I, I see the I see the thinning. It's got some glistening on your head. The thinning. The thin. Well, you could see through the thinning, and there's some glistening. Brother. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, man. I'm gonna fucking kill I'm myself. I'm just kidding. I'm just no, kidding. No, you're not. No, you're not. And this has been um, a 126th episode of Daddy's Fucking Dungeon. 126th. I'm thinning. And by 127, it'll be thinner. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> All right, peace. Damn, I'm sweating, dude. Oh.